Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and your five axis milling machine. What better way to learn something than reading the manual while this thing boots up? Holy fuck, so dry I'd suck the water out of a bong. Pretty good stand in. Let's mash some buttons. There ain't no quicker way to learn than to fuck around. And yeah, there's also no quicker way to fuck up than to fuck around. At the same time, you know, we're not in community, we're, we're not in high school trying to, to fill a semester. There are many ways to do this. This is probably the least expedient, however, the easiest. The keyboard warriors are, I mean, they're gearing up. You, you can hear them just seething in the background. We unfortunates were born without a, a Cat 54 inch shell mill in our hand. Woe betide your poor mother as perched astride a mountain of swarf. We got to learn this shit. We weren't born with this shit. So we're getting the bugs out of this machine. You got to crawl before you can walk. Well, this is us crawling. This fucking thing, visual programming, fuck. Glitchy as fuck, ain't worth the steam off your piss. I've been told the rule in CNC is you always gotta be 100% sure before you press the cycle start. Unfortunately, with this VPS, you never know. The pain in the hoss, visual programming system. Jesus Christ, it's half-baked as shit. We managed to get it to work on the inline drilling, the peck drilling cycle, and the tapping. The grid pattern faulted out. The face milling faulted out. 
Here's the trouble with that. If you can't trust it, you can't fucking use it. This, this is a big piece of gear and there's a huge learning curve there as we saw by my busted top. Hey, I called it. We were, <laughs> taps were sounding. So, in short, fantastic machine once you get it dialed in. She runs like a raped ape. But the visual programming system ain't good for fuck all, partner. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. There's red hot carbide in your eye.